We deal with die-casting aluminium products on a daily basis and almost everywhere. Automotive parts, power tools, gear housings, structural parts. Aluminium certainly has its advantages. It's lightweight, tough, water-resistant and oxide-proof. In order to find out how die-casting aluminium came into being, we visited Metazel Manufacturing Facility, one of the most modern pressure die-casting foundries in Poland and one of the biggest such facilities in Europe. Our range of products includes pressure castings of aluminium and zinc alloys for various industries, including automotive industry for household appliances, construction industry, electrical and power tools sector, and many other companies. The material required for the manufacturing purposes is aluminium that must first be melted in induction furnaces. Such furnaces are capable of melting 1.5 tons of the raw material within 45 minutes. The melted material is purified. The refiner is placed on top of the furnace and its head, while rotating, administers argon to the metal treatment bath. Argon travels upwards, taking away all gases and contamination, which are then collected by the melter. Aluminium in such form is then transferred to the melting stations in order to be inserted to the machine furnaces. Their role is to preserve metal in liquid state. In Metazel Foundry, the most state-of-the-art casting technologies are applied. Robot with the precision of one gram collects material using a special pipette. The pipette dives beneath the level of liquid aluminium surface. Owing to the above, metal injected into the mould is free of contamination resulting from contact with the air. Another method of casting involves pouring onto the filling chamber with a special ladle. Next, material is forced into the mould and pressed. Liquid metal fills the entire space inside the mould. Aluminium solidifies and mould opens up. Once we have an aluminium casting, rent genographic examination is done, which allows to check the metal structure. Any contamination, air bubbles or discontinuities in metal structure affect the detail endurance. That is why this examination is so important. Cast detail is purified and subjected to tumble finishing or shop blasting. Next, it is moved to the machining department, which is carried out in three axle, horizontal and vertical machining centers and NC control turning machines. Threads and turning process is performed. Details are milled. Samples of final details are delivered to the control department where the special quality tests are performed. Measurements with the precision of up to 3 microns, endurance and strength tests. As well as analysis of chemical composition of aluminium is performed. When we are convinced that our die castings meet the most rigorous quality requirements, we send them to the customers.